All right, Pro Dome Survivors, welcome to your Sunday set right now. So basically I'm going over uh, the purpose of circuit breakers and how you can actually end up using these for uh, the actual silver scrap. So this is an actual Siemens uh, circuit breaker itself. So these ones flip. Now the good part is you have the turns here and then you have this part here. This part is very, very special. The setup for this here, which is why I want everyone to know what they're basically doing is a very nice setup for the cell so for those of you who actually do check out the circuit breakers themselves and use them for silver scrap make sure that you take it so there's two things in it there's this piece here which has this button this button right here is an actual silver button so I don't know if you guys can actually see that so the silver button right here is an actual silver button so this is silver itself right now this piece here is going to be on this part for the circuit breaker all right this part actually goes inside of uh, your relay set there okay so when you scrap these don't just go for this the head because there's an additional part in there okay which is actually called the hammer and the hammer clips into this this here also has silver on it these little buttons right here are silver so you put them in a clamp you heat them up and then you take these off you have to make sure because the problem with that is that most people take these apart and they just look at the one here the one in here is this so let's see if i can put this in here correctly right now uh i think this is the way it goes yeah this is the way it goes it goes in like this be careful with that because the problem is when you have these two that connect the silver is on the back of it so basically it's on the inside like this now the problem is that there's going to be so i actually went into an abandoned property the other day um i had an electrical contractor there and he had found these in a bucket in the back and I was like, those are old. So I looked at them. They look pretty good. However, in New Jersey, New Jersey law states that if you reuse, it's illegal to reuse circuit breakers. So you can't reuse them there. So it's illegal to reuse these. Sorry for the noise. Uh, so in these here, I do want to pick out another piece and show you. So you have something like this here, this little piece here. When I turn it to the side. You see that? You got a silver button right there. Okay. When you have another piece like this, you have another silver button which is right there. So inside of each and every single circuit breaker, you're gonna have a piece like this, which is gonna be here. This is actually, but actually, uh, let's get a different piece for you there. Piece like this, which is gonna have one silver piece on it, and then another piece uh, like this, which will basically be the hammer. This touches contact with this to make sure it connects with it because you don't want it to spark up. So yeah, this is basically doing that whole setup. So you can find these in scrap and old abandoned places there. If you go to Home Depot, they'll probably charge you $1.99. But one gram of silver is worth about 70 cents. So let's just do 70 cents there. Now the reason why I have this here is I have to separate this because if you look at this, there's actual gold scrap in here. Now this piece here is gold scrap. This is not supposed to be with this. This is silver, this is gold. Now the problem is this, there's something a trick I found the other day. You see these chips here? These chips have gold in it. However, on the back of them here, they have silver. All of this that you see is silver. When you melt this, you're gonna end up getting that little button piece right there. To be honest, I will throw this whole thing in acid, but I have to separate the gold from it. So what you do is that you have, like I have a little yellow bag here, and what I'm doing is I'm separating these gold fingers from this scrap pile here. Now, this took me all day yesterday right now, so every one of these you see in here, each and every single one of these pieces came from a circuit breaker. Now, circuit breakers will only have one of these, it's not gonna have two, because this part actually clips into the relay set, okay? So, one of these is, I have about like at least 50 of these in here maybe? So 50 of these in here is a lot. So I'm separating out the gold right now from this. So again, this has silver in it, but this also has, see this? This also has gold in it. So I have to put these inside of an actual bag here. Like you see that? This whole thing is actually full of gold. 
so I cannot melt the gold with the silver itself they have to be separate no matter what they cannot be in the same thing because if they're in the same thing you're gonna end up having a serious problem you don't want that right now at all like for no reason whatsoever all right so I'm just doing this on Sunday to show you guys how it is one of the things towards 2020 is I'm gonna end up making a video for uh, a Faraday cage that's gonna come up and we're gonna do that later on tonight to show you guys the importance of having a Faraday cage and making sure all of your information is stored I'd say once every six months do it just because of how crazy the economy is now the problem is you can actually make things easier and actually do a button piece like this this is an actual button piece there but it still has silver on it so yeah this whole thing is about 50 pieces now these came from larger breakers but if you actually see this button here again is silver so this whole purpose of it is actually getting all of those done right now and to make sure everything is actually set. Like I'm looking in this right now and you can actually see from the video, there's still pieces of like gold in here. I do never, I never want to melt the gold with silver at all. Don't do that. Only when it comes to these chips here, what you do is you put these in acid and after you put them in acid, you get the silver off of it. You take them and then you burn them in a pot and then you separate the gold from these. So inside of these, see if I can actually find one for you. Perfect. See this here? See this, that line there? Inside of this is gold. Some people burn them, they put them in acid, they flip them up, they break them. You can smash them together and then put in acid, but do the silver first and then do the gold as well. So all of this here is gonna be gold. That's gonna take a long time to do, but trust me, it's worth it. I'm looking at all of this right now, and I probably have at least, probably about maybe two ounces of silver here, you know, and it took me about two hours to do this. So I'd say at two ounces of silver, silver is $27 an ounce. The good part is all of that money basically comes to me. So I really don't have to worry about like an overhead or anything like that. You really just have to pay for the acid. And the acids and stuff you can basically end up finding at Walmart and other places right now. Like this is all uh, metal and stuff like that. I'm not gonna put this inside of, um, inside of basically something there. But things like this, so what you have is this is a chip this has gold on it now go online before you go on ebay and buy sim cards and just melt them an experiment was already done sorry for the noise again an experiment was already done where they melted these and it did not yield a lot of gold but it's always good to add it in if you basically do have it all right so as i said i'm just going over this right now one of the things you can actually see me doing is i'm separating out uh the actual gold from this before this goes into an actual container to basically melt itself now again please separate your stuff but you don't have to separate this so this piece here this is silver this these two pieces connect both of them have silver parts and you can get both of them from uh from these circuit breakers there now as i said uh that's basically all the video we're doing today right now but please separate your stuff you are going to end up losing a lot more gold than you actually think right now I never want to lose gold as well because gold, again, is more valuable than silver. But for us dumpster divers right now, gold really has no no value to us. We value it because other people value it and we're able to basically get it so easy. That's basically it. All right, we're done. I separated out all of the gold, I believe, from this right now. So everything here is basically just silver right now. This is basically just silver points. And this basically comes off of circuit breaker. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I want to answer all of them I can. Right now, I have a feeling this channel's going to blow up after I do that Faraday cage video. But yeah, so this is basically the gold there. This is the silver itself. And then the copper, I don't really care about the copper. You can do whatever you want there. All right, pro dumpster route. Have a good day.